So I did take some pictures, nighttime pictures. I met Louie, my couch surfing hangout friend. He has really good equipment. He used to be a photojournalist, but now he's an engineer. So shout out to Louie if you're watching this. Um, great American guy from New Jersey. We hung out. So I didn't realize he had good equipment until after we hung out. So he took some pictures, but from my phone, because his camera equipment takes a long time to set up. But later at the church, he took some nighttime pictures, panoramic, that he'll let me borrow. But the one I'm in is fuzzy, because at nighttime, if you don't stay still for three minutes, it's fuzzy. And then that's how I plan my itinerary. I don't have any plans most of the time. Unless it's something big, then I'll be like, I want to see that. But if it's not big, then I don't really have plans. I just sort of roam around the cities, the beaches, camping, I hitchhike. So the food I really enjoyed. So that was a splurge for me just for my 44th birthday. Um, if I was with her, I'd probably eat a little bit cheaper because we'd have to pay for the room and share. So that's the story. But I know one day she's going to um, realize and we'll become friends again. It might be one or two years, but that's okay. Some friendships need time apart. And yes, I'm very annoying to travel with. I'm a gypsy hobo. I'm maybe too flexible and too gypsy and too hobo for most people to travel with. So I've learned my lesson. Do not travel with anybody but my partner. With my boyfriend, I've traveled with before when we met each other. We did road trips, and he's very easygoing. We camped out at places, because Australia is huge. So we would just drive for the whole day, and when he got tired, we would just find a corner to camp out at, and he'll do a fire, and we'll go to sleep, and wake up the next morning and keep driving, driving for seven days. So if someone can do that, they can probably do Gypsy Hobo with me, but someone that can't camp out will probably murder me. So I have a higher chance of being murdered by a good friend traveling than I do at couch surfing or with strangers. So stay tuned for my gypsy hobo traveling stories or just, and all of these things I can't capture on TV. When I'm mad, I can't, uh, that I missed the bus, I'm not gonna be recording myself because I'm low battery, low charge, and I don't have, most of the time, I don't have charge even to do internet. Um, and then when I'm sleeping on the bench, I don't want to be filming myself because I'm cold. And I don't have anyone to film me. Um, I try to take pictures when I can. Um, but all these travel mishaps aren't being recorded because it's just me. So, and most of the time, I might not even have charge. So I have no charge on my um, Wi-Fi or a camera or cell phone. So that's why I'm not filming most of this. So stay, um, subscribe to...
partir en vélo un matin J'ai roulé sur les routes, les chemins Marre de la société de consommation Je voulais exister dans l'action Je voulais visiter le monde Ne pas perdre une seule seconde La vie qui me reste à vivre Et puis aussi je voulais suivre Mon étoile, mon destin sans jamais penser à demain Je suis parti, ça fait dix ans, dix ans Je voulais faire le point aujourd'hui et maintenant Vous dire mes états d'art Mes impressions de femme Mes doutes, mes chagrins, mes envies Vous dire aussi pourquoi je suis parti Je suis pas parti pour fuir Mais plutôt pour me découvrir moi et le monde qui nous entoure Je demande pardon en ce jour à ceux que j'ai pu faire souffrir Mes parents, mes amis Mes nièces et filles que j'ai pas vu grandir Je suis parti en vélo un matin J'ai traversé la France L'Espagne Portugal Île de Madère Les îles Canaries Le Maroc L'Italie Slovénie La Croatie La Bosnie Le Monténégro L'Albanie Turquie, la Syrie, avant la guerre, le Liban, après la guerre, la Jordanie. J'ai fait 20 000 kilomètres à vélo Puis j'ai fait équipière sur des bateaux oh, oh, oh. 